in any area I always recommend that you get the tower so here we are in Hebra uh, after you get the tower I'm gonna recommend you go back to the Arumawak shrine or that in that area the lucky clover gazette if you don't have the shrine then just make your way over to that area From here, let's glide down the Gazette. I'm actually going to glide past the Gazette because I can get to the first island here associated with the village. Oh, just water. Anything over here in this one? Oh, I'll just water. Just frozen water. Take this path up. There is a shrine that I think we'll be getting that's most likely inside of the village. If you didn't see my video about the armor sets you should get before Rito Village, check that out. Some early game armor sets. I'll put a link here in the description. So here we are, we're in Rito Village. Keep heading up to the icon showing on the screen. There's a goddess statue. Looks pretty quiet here. I'm just gonna keep going up. Let's see what this is about. Wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. If we don't do anything, the village. Is that you? It is you. Tulin, young Rito warrior. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Tiba, new Rito elder. It's very nice to see you again. Do you remember my son Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be a little chick. What, you think I can't? I'm already full, fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You all can keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship, or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, even now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched.
Even if the song of the Stormwind Arc is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky, but the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? What? This is terrible news, so then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm, we Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard and scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many resources of information, many sources, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way. He's in the lodge near there if you'd like to try visiting him. Tulin of Rito Village. So it looks like you can go to Rito Village before you go to the tower. It's up to you. I wanted to do a little bit of exploration before I went to... Head over, so it makes it easier for me to travel there now. Here's our lodge. Link, you're all right. I worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Uh. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. <sighs> Our feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Though now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. <laughs> oh, right. You weren't around for it, but little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh. His wing gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Tiba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gisain and Laysa on the trip to find food. I think they were on their way to the Hebra South Summit Cave, that's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Great. Stock up. Let's head up here. See what we got going on. Okay, fire marks it. Okay. Keep going. Here we go, right here. Mm. 
Unbelievable that these huge things are raining down on us. What is happening up there in the skies? Hmm. Oh, oops. I haven't expected to meet a hyalian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. If you go further up this slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. They keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark their location. If the cold gets too much for you, find that bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. Well, let's head up. Come on. I'm willing to waste arrows on those. Those are those can be quite annoying. Alright, come on. Come on. Back. Back, you beasts. managed to get me. Back, you fiends. Not seeing the cave. Must keep going up. Okay. That must be it. That's a pretty big fire. Let's move into here. Doesn't seem to be anything down there. I'm going to want right now. Ooh. Little spot right here. Sapphire. That's new. Hmm. Where I go, I need to climb out of here. All right. We do ascend.
Chulfin Trout. I want to get that. Hold our flint. Get a sword that's going to be easy to... Looks like you kind of just need to climb. Be really nice to have some upgraded uh, stamina here, but it'll do for now. All right, where are we going next? bomb here. It looks like we made it to the next step. What are we going to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Oh. Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? You're here to talk to Tulin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past out outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed them there. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Alright, let's proceed.
Who soldiers bow? We're gonna go with that. Nice, now we're getting somewhere. Swallow bow. Aerial combat. Allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. I'm going to leave it there for now. Soldier spear. Ooh. Icy meat. Let's keep heading up. Seems to be a construct up here. Him out right away. Let's keep it moving. Wonder if we should go up there. Something over here. <laughs> Follow this path up. See if we can climb up. Might prove to be difficult. Especially if it's frozen. Luckily it doesn't seem to be frozen. Tulin, stupid monster. What, Link? Where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. That's the bow. See, that's the bow napper. Ah, uh, that's like the one I just found in the chest. I've got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Sure. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way you can glide over to where that monster went. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Tulin's gust. When Tulin's aura is charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Uh. I mean. Where'd you go? Why are you running? Got it.
There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. There's more of them. Looks like they really wanted that bow, didn't they? Bring it. Alright, they're not gonna f make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. Okay, wow. He was upset. How did my frost... Did the frost break? No, it just wore out. We did it. Hey, look, I think this might have been the hideout for those monsters. Hmm, was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Right. Hey, Tula and Link, huh? That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Aw, oh, you saw that, Hearth. Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen to Gazin. Tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. You were right, it really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get that Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Oh yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. Huh? What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm. Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to we're go not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Huh? Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud. You say the princess soared into. <laughs> huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Uh. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Tiba. Dad said that? Yep. And I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time to go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever is causing this blizzard. No problem. The two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Okay, he gives me a gust. Probably gonna be walking most of the way, but... Yana's still getting used to those gusts. How to use the gust. Learning. Ooh, nice. Alright. Where's he at? Where's she at? Okay. 
Alright, here we go. Ah, we're learning. All right, Tulin. All right, I'm gonna say let's go. He's a, she or he is already. Let's go. Okay, it doesn't. Probably not useful for this part. Okay. You have to be up high in order for it to really work to your advantage. Okay. Here's where we're going to have some fun. Let's go over here. try to avoid it. I think I want to fight these guys. But we can't avoid it. I don't want to avoid it, though. Bombs are so valuable in this game. They actually help attack. Cool. Icicle club. Pick stick. Thirty wooden stick. All right, heading back to where we were. I don't miss anything. Let's do sand. Across. We need our two in. Something up there. There in a second. Very nice. Hmm. 
We're gonna be going up top. Alright, heading up here. Plenty of arrows. Take these flying things out quickly. Seem to doesn't seem to be anything here. Although for some reason that's where the it's telling me to go on the map. So okay. Let's get a little closer. We're too high up. Finally got it. Uh, we know what to do. I don't need to talk to him. So let's go. Perfect. Can we break these? Do I need them to build? Do I need them for something? Nothing right now. I think Tulin's got a little bit of ADD. I gotta get him every time I need him. He's always off doing something. Just make sure there's nothing down there that I that we could miss. Doesn't seem to be. Uh oh. We're gonna ascend. If possible. Nope, doesn't look to be possible. Okay. I'm gonna send from here. Oh, send is so great. It's for the it's for those of us that are lazy and don't want to have to climb. I think that's why they brought Ascend into the game. I'm still going to climb up here. Just in case there's something. And there isn't. Okay. Yeah, okay, the marker must have been in the sky. All right. Let's do a gust in case I need it. In case we need it. There's a long ascend here. There we have it. Beautiful. Hey. 
Blink. It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda, but now I don't know where she could have gone. Hmm. What is that? Cool. Click ship. Let me just get on the top of this. I always just want to check. Okay, there's nothing. Hey, wait for me. Look at that. It's a boat. Huh? Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? Whoa, do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge. There's tons of those little flying boats too. You know what it reminds me of? A line of ships soaring built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the song of the storm wind arc. Oh. Was that children's song true after all? You heard the strange voice too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. Ah. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship? Uh -huh. Well, n nowhere to go but up. Come on. Got that right. Or sideways, since if I get over there, I don't know if I can get over there. All right, let's just do it. Yes. Get the shrine. Oh, painful. I suppose land on the ice break my fall, but that did not happen. Okay. Have because You can, you got a much better vantage point. You can see everything and you can drop down on everything. It's, it's why those, that's why hawks fly so high, right? Come down on other birds. Right. You get over there, but I need to get over here. So it's probably going to be best. If I do this. Let's do this thing. Let's fall without getting damaged. The number one thing. Take that and that and that. I like this swallow though, though. It's actually pretty good.
Got a lot of blocks. What can they do for me? I don't really know. I guess you just got to keep going, huh? All right, well, I'm going to assume there's not too much treasure here. Well, let me ascend, huh? All right, maybe it's because I'm on the block. Well, let me ascend, huh? Why won't you let me ascend? Are my block's not high enough. Am I not tall high enough? That would make sense why there's blocks. Yep. Break these icicles off. Send here. You're in a match for me, you fool. Portable pot, that's good. There's got to be something in here. Good thing I have a lot of arrows. What's, what is that though? Gotta be. Let's just keep going higher. Wow, that was up really high. That's just a light. That's nothing. Okay. Where are we going next? Alright, I'm going to need a gust, too. And give me a gust. Where are you going over there? Come on. We got work to do. Buddy, we got work to do. Get some distance to cover. Oh, it seems like I'm back to square one now. I'm not. Yeah, flame emitter. Curiosity. We stay on our path. Okay, I actually want to. We gotta face this thing down here. I'm ready. Are you two on? Let's 
Let's get something a little stronger. Taking it down. Got some strong weapons. I was ready. I. Dead. Look at all the stuff we get. Oh, look at all those charges. I still really don't. I don't know what this thing does. But I keep feeling it's gonna it does something. I've defeated one of these before. Oh chest. Let's not forget the chest. Gotta be something good in there. Old map. Yep. We're gonna get down there. There's gonna be a lot of goodies down there. Alright, where are we at next? Are we close enough to ascend? Probably not. There we go. We'll have to send up, up over that. Who would have thought that before the... And I'm kind of glad that leading up to the... Dungeon, essentially, that we're getting... There's some work to be done, because... You know, make it somewhat linear. We love our open worlds and our freedom to explore, but... Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wonder if I break this if it's gonna fall. Anything underneath it? Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. I guess I could do this. I'll let this brick take it for me. As high as I can. Okay. It's one of those. Alright. Anything else around here? Should I just take the jump? Just make sure there's not any other. Whew. That's scary. Oh, I'm gonna run into that. And there's any way to break that. Oh, there there is. Now, that's what these are for. Except there's a boat underneath of there. There should be. What's that over there? Oh no. I gotta know what that is. I gotta know what that is. That's gotta be something good. It's gotta be. Um, got another one? Where is it? Good job. Wow, he's pretty good. Actually. Okay, yes. So what we need to do, which I just almost did, I got it. Ten arrows. Oh, yeah, that's really worth it. I'm so glad I did that. Not, not worth it at all. That's not making it in the video. Wasted 10 arrows to get over there. It's gonna be a long video and it's going to take a lot of editing. 
All right, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Gotta recharge my stamina. Let's do it. All right, we're making it somewhere. Proceeding. Blood Moon's coming very soon. Might as well wait for it. We go up to the next part here. Tulin is really amazing. Okay, let's go. With the with the attacks, it has a light attention span though. Take that. Like that block. Shield. All right. Let's keep this going. Getting really close now. Did we, where's the shrine? I thought I marked it. Maybe I missed it. I'm ready for war. Let's go. Very nice. That's always good to have. I kind of do want... Uh, we'll just leave it at that. Getting really close. Gonna have to build something. Uh, 
It always comes back to this. This is going to be enough for us, right? Whew. Up really high now. Hopefully it won't let us miss that shrine. I, I, I thought I saw another shrine here. A lot of ascending. All right, let's just climb up here. Tulin, I feel like we've been through a lot together. Already. This has bonded us. We are bonded over this massive climb that we have taken together. Alright, just to check and see if there's anything. Uh, just a lot of... I'll take them for good measure. Even though they're not that strong. Luckily, I'm good at this kind of stuff since I've played a lot of Zelda games. Now let's just go over. F let's just go for it. We don't need two of them. One was enough. All right, and let's break the ice. The ice won't hurt us. Boom. There it is. Very cold. This is my first time flying this high. The air is pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but what about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? This is where you need to upgrade your gear a little bit more. Uh, this is where it makes sense. If you can, uh, if you can afford to purchase the other Rito equipment, I would do it. So since it's getting colder, I went back to Rito Village and purchased the Snow Quill Tunic and Snow Quill Headdress. Both cold resistant and they have three defense. So you bring up your cold resistance to full. Since it's colder here at the top, you know, it requires more cold resistance. You gotta have two pieces of equipment. So, plus it gets our defense where it needs to be. Why is it cold? Feels cold even though it's summer here. This is where we need our gusts. Let's make it. Go. 
Just barely. Gonna need a gust. <sighs> Can we make it? Doing our best. We made it. Like we got more to go. We're up above the storm now. Guess we're just going into the storm. <laughs> 